class set up. We're going to go ahead and set up a Cherokee 140 today. Um, if you're flying something different, it is easy to make some minor adjustments. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom right corner of four flight. We're going to hit more and we're going to go over to aircraft, which you can see is right here's aircraft. I'm going to hit that. And right now I need, I have aircraft, but I'm going to put one in so you can see how to do it. I'm going to go to aircraft, we're going to go to plus sign here. All right, so tail number. So what we're going to do is we're going to go November, and we'll go 8182 November. We'll put that one in as one of our aircraft. Okay, so I get that in. And then the next thing I'm going to look to, serial number, we can script, skip aircraft type. Okay, so it's a PA-28. And actually, I always forget this. For some reason in, the, in these databases, the P28A, I always say someone typed the error wrong, but I'm not exactly sure why it's in there that way. But if you look, you'll see a PA28-140 cruiser. If you put P28A, once again, it comes in PA-28-140. Not sure um, why it's a P28A, but you put that in, and it's going to pre-fill a few things in for it. First color of aircraft, we're going to go in here. This plane happens to be beige and green, so I'm going to dial that in. Each aircraft has its own colors. You can pick whatever you want there for the aircraft. Home airport, of course, for here is going to be EVV. Airspeed, we'll just leave in knots. Performance profile. Now, this is something we need to make for our profile that tells us in the units, uh, the units and how fast to expect the aircraft to go. So profile name, okay, we're just gonna use 140 for 140. Climb true airspeed in knots. Now the aircraft, we climb at 95 miles an hour. Effectively with the vertical angle gives us about 80 knots of ground speed. Effective true airspeed throughout the climb, not ground speed, but effective true airspeed. Climb fuel burn. They're burning about 12 and a half to 13 gallons an hour. I always like to overshoot at full power, so we're gonna go with 13. And then climb rate. On a, winter, it's higher. Summer, it may be a few lower, but we're always going to average at least 500. So that looks good. True airspeed and cruise, those are 105 on these airplanes. We learned that in cross-country ground school and from the books and different things, but it is 105. Cruise power. Now, we're going to get a little bit more accurate. We personally fly plan 10.0 just because it's easy math, but really it's burning about 9.5. So we're going to let four flight be a slightly more accurate. Descent. Descent's going to maintain 105. As you do come down, you're going downhill, so you can tend to build speed. We reduce power and just maintain, so the way we are taught to fly, it's about 105 still. Fuel burn, we are powered down a little bit, so we're going to go with 8.5. It's going to drop slightly. And then we're going to go with our descent rate once again. You should be taught 500 foot per minute is the standard descent rate that we use for everyone. Okay, we're going to make sure it's our default profile. I hit make default. So now that is our performance profile. As I hit back here, it's gonna be stored in there. So we'll go back to 8182 November. All right, best glide speed, those are gonna be, um, it's 80, okay? So it knows, we do not know the glide ratio of this aircraft. Default cruising altitudes will leave blank, ceilings will leave blank, fuel, hunter low lead. Uh, start taxi and takeoff fuel so basically how much fuel do we waste to get to the runway and all that and for these planes about one gallon is all you need to account for but that's waste fuel um, as far as filing FAA equipment for right now we're just gonna leave that blank don't have any dinghies emergency gear or anything like that so that go in and creates the aircraft now you can make it default so it always pre stores that one um, or you can use other ones, but once you're done with that, you hit back and it should pop up in there. You notice I'll have quite a few, but now 8182 November is in there as a PA-28140 cruiser. So that's the first step is putting in an aircraft. Now let's say like we have multiple Cherokee 140s. You don't have to keep recreating. They're all about the same. So all you have to do is hit on one and then you come down here and say copy aircraft. When you copy it, it'll make exactly the same thing. So you'll have two of the same tail number. Just click the other tail number, okay? Once you click that other tail number, you can just change it. Um, like if I had multiple of the same tail number, like I have 
you know, 8 to November numerous spots, I can come back in here and come in there, and I can say, oh, no, this one's 6950 whiskey. It's one of the other 140s. So you could put November 6950 whiskey. Everything else, and then change the color, but everything else, well, that's going to stay the same. So all that's an easy and effective way to put in.